Have you had a chance to talk to uh, Julia? Uh, no. I, well, after the game, I did a little bit. And um, in the training room the next day. How does he see it? I mean, what was his poison in the Um, I think he's a little upset. I, I don't really know um, what's wrong with his, with his knee, so I can't really comment on that. Um, and, but, yeah, you know, I think he's um, felt better. He's out for the season, Kirk said today. Um, what's your reaction to that? What's your first um, take? You know, I, that's kind of what I expected. I knew it was kind of some, definitely something serious. Um, he seemed like it was... Uh, not not right, and he would know. You know, I mean, he's had that problem before, and um, so he kind of knows what that feels like. And uh, you know, to lose a guy like him, it's very upsetting. Uh, he's, a, he's a you know good football player. Uh, you know, he's a great teammate, and uh, you know he'll definitely be missed. And we're gonna have to go, you know, next man in, like really talk about it and just uh, you know move on and, and play the guys we have. Uh, and we can't sit back and um, you know worry about the guys. That Coach said, you know, you guys saw Adam carry the load for a full game against Eastern Illinois. How confident are you in his ability to do that for the rest of the year? Uh, very confident. You know, I think he's a guy that knows what he's doing. He's, um, you know, played a lot of football here uh, in such a, you know, short period being such a young guy. So he has experience while also being young. And I think that, you know, he can um, do what is asked of him uh, every single week. Yeah, how important is that? I guess, uh, I guess there are certain key points in every season where how the team responds to adversity is going to determine how the rest of the season goes. And yeah. Do you see that as, as something that's happened this week? And what's the key there? Yeah, um, it's hard to predict that right now. Um, you know, when you look back on this season, when it's all said and done, you can kind of point out um, certain points of the year and you can say, oh, that was a turning point. You know, it's easy yeah. to point those out at the end of the season. Um, when you're in the middle of it, it's hard to find that out. And the best way for us to treat it is to have the right attitude. Um, you know, keep the same attitude we've had, you know, of trying to prepare as best as possible, um, you know, going to each game with confidence and, and be ready to play, you know, a 60-minute, you know, hard-fought game. And that's, you know, all you can do each week. If you win or if you lose, um, you got to get right back up or you got to, you know, stay pretty even keel. And it's kind of uh, the way the sport is. And, um, you know, you have to move on no matter what. If you win, you have to be able to move on quick. You can't, you know, be happy and complacent. And if you lose, you got to be able to get back up and, and go to back to work on Tuesday. So right now we're at the phase where we need to um, get back up and go to work on Tuesday. And understand that what happened last week is, uh, you know, in the past now, there's nothing we can do to change it besides play better in our next game. It's a little funny. I 